Hi, this is Felicia. Um, I want to talk to you today about desire. I know you guys probably have been seeing some posts. I've been talking about desire. And you're probably wondering, am I living in my desire? I don't know. I feel like it. I'm not quite sure what that is. So I wanted to come here and tell you about my experience when I learned about desire. And so um, it took place years ago. I was in a six month program. And at the end of the six month, the very last month for 30 days, we have to practice desire. And to do that, we had to be in relationships. So any type of relationship that we wanted to be in, we had to design. And so for me, I wanted to be in a successful relationship, like a marriage. And so my partner, I chose, we talk about it and we agree. And so they held a little ceremony. Everybody there got married, you know, to be in desire for the next 30 days, living out the type of relationship that they wanted to live out. So like I said, mine's was marriage. And so me and my partner, we got married. Well, he lived in a different state. So we had to plan how we were going to coordinate this next 30 days. So we agreed that one week, he'll, I'll uh, go visit him in his state. And one week, he'll come stay with me and visit with me in my state. And then for the last two weeks of the month, we would do it virtually. We chose the platform Marco Polo and, you know, through text, we were going to communicate with each other. And we were going to practice the things that we chose from the instruction that was going to help us to be in desire. Such things like, you know, telling each other how grateful we are, like five gratitudes, um, practicing active listening, communicating, things of that nature. So we began this journey, right? So needless to say, as time went on, I began to feel miserable. I was being triggered left and right, meaning that this thing had began to feel like being in a real relationship where you begin to have real problems and real issues and you don't understand how you're going to solve it. I'm thinking, I'm supposed to be living in my desire. <laughs> this does not feel like that. And so I began to ask myself, am I living in desire? Every time I did things, I was like, am I living in desire? Yes. So I do it. So that meant like if I had a feeling that uh, I wanted to express I missed him, I would say it. I would do that. That was me living in my desire. If I wanted to call him, that was me. I did that. I called. I was living in my desire. If I had a feeling that I wanted to text or whatever, just say whatever, I did that. That's me living in my desire. But however, this one particular day, this one particular day, we had been talking about what we were going to be doing, and um, it was kind of vague, and that's the trigger, because to me, when you're being vague, you're hiding something, and so um, we began to text this particular day, and he was responding, and uh, so when he was responding, I was like, okay, this is good, you know, we're having a good text and stuff, and then all of a sudden, it went cold. And I'm like, what happened? Why did it go cold? So I'm sitting there wondering, hard palpitating and everything. I'm wondering, like, what's going on? You know, and here's my negative self-talk. Someone is more important to me. You know, boy, when that thought gets to going, I get to down spiraling and going into darkness and all wondering all kinds of things who is she what's going on who is more important to me so <laughs> i'm beginning to and that's where i didn't want to go i'm supposed to be living in my desire i'm supposed to be in a happy marriage having this experience so that for the rest of my life as i move on in my life if i get into another relationship I would know how to live in my desire this is what this whole thing was all about right live you know practicing desire so I was so miserable that the call the text rather went cold I was on the couch 
I was laying on the couch, pleading and begging and praying to my universe and Heavenly Mother and Father, please help me to understand what desire is. I'm understanding that desire is me being in the moment, you know, doing exactly what I want to do. But this does not feel like that because I am not getting the responses. He is not showing up for me. What am I doing wrong? How can I understand this? And I'm just pondering and I'm begging and pleading and want this pain to come up off of me because it's, I don't want to go through this again. This is why I took this course. This is why I was in this program. I wanted to learn and have the necessary tools so that I wouldn't be able to feel this way in my life anymore. And so then I'm there on the couch. Hours went by. Maybe even the next day. It was 24 hours. It was the next day. Finally, the voice said to me, Have you been living in your desire? Small, quiet voice. And I'm still pouting and sad. Yes. So that's it. I'm like, That's it? What do you mean? I don't understand. I, I'm, I'm still in this pain. I don't get it said, were you living in your desire? Yes. Well, that's what it is. No matter what, no matter what the other person do or do not do, you live in your desire. And it clicked. And the pain lifted. I began to feel so much better and lighter and brighter. And I was like, oh my goodness, I get it. I picked up my phone, I got on Marco Polo, and I went on Marco Polo to talk to him, and I said, you know what, I just want to say, I want to thank you, I want to thank you for being the medicine that I need to manifest in exactly what I needed so that I could go with inside me to find the answers, because I wanted to truly understand what desire was, and I got it. Desire is for me. Desire is for me knowing what I want no matter what. So I can't do anything about if you don't want to show up and you don't want to answer the call. That's on you. You're responsible for that, not me. In that moment, I was set free. I was set free of holding other people's responsibility for me. No one is responsible for my desire but me. And so if I live in my desire 100%, like my program, then that's all that matters. So my message is to you. If you want to live in desire 100%, and you don't know how to get there, you feeling miserable, and you down in the basement, and you got this negative self-talk, then DM me. Chat with me. Make an appointment. Join my six-week program, Living in Desire 100%, and I will teach you. I will give you the tools to help you to get there. It's a journey. We all on our journey, and we all run into people that have our medicine, and it don't feel good, and it don't taste good, but medicine is to heal, and we are healers, and we are here to heal each other. And so with that, I hope this has helped you. And peace out.